Hi, this is Scott Brown with a Motor Age tech tip on using the Robinair EVDC100 electronic variable compressor tester. A great solution for technicians looking to streamline their variable displacement compressor diagnostics. Today, most vehicles are equipped with variable displacement AC compressors, which are electronically controlled. The electronic control unit uses refrigerant pressure to control the overall stroke of the AC compressor pistons. The fundamentals are as follows. Variable displacement compressors typically have a shaft-driven swash plate in the center of the compressor where opposing pistons and cylinders are arranged in a way where a swash plate can push and pull on the pistons. The swash plate is a slanted disc that can be tilted based on the position command of the electronic control valve. When the control valve is commanded fully open, the pressure moves the swash plate to its maximum tilt angle, providing maximum piston stroke. This allows for a larger volume of refrigerant to flow through the system, providing maximum cooling capacity. Some systems do not use an actual AC compressor clutch, which means that the AC compressor is always being driven whenever the engine is running. When the control valve is in the off or low flow mode, the piston stroke is minimal, resulting in extremely low drag and increasing the overall efficiency of the system. This is why it's a good idea to service the AC system regularly to ensure proper charge of refrigerant and oil are providing proper system lubrication. Diagnostics. Now, when a vehicle equipped with such a system arrives with a complaint of poor HVAC performance, one should be prepared to properly analyze such a system. If you've connected your gauges and discovered adequate static pressure, and when the system is commanded on, you're not seeing proper high and low pressures, then it's time to analyze the variable displacement compressor. The EVDC electronic variable compressor tester is a very robust tool that has three cables that connect to the controller, two heavy duty DC cables with clamps that are four feet long and a six foot control valve cable. Also included is the EVDC 101 valve harness module that gets connected to the vehicle compressor harness to simulate a good valve circuit during testing. With the engine off, you'll want to get in between the system controller and the AC compressor control valve. You can accomplish this by simply unplugging the compressor valve connector and plug in the vehicle harness into the Robinair vehicle harness module. Next, you'll need to plug in the Robinair EVDC100 harness into the AC compressor and then attach the battery positive and negative cables to the 12 volt battery on the vehicle or to a jump box if the battery isn't easily accessible. After starting the engine, observe your pressure gauges. Rotate the knob clockwise from the off position until you hear a click. You'll see the LED power indicator illuminate if your power connections are good. While observing both high and low side pressures, slowly rotate the knob from the minimum setting to the maximum and observe the gauges. If the pressures are as expected and the system is cooling, then you have a problem between your control valve harness connector and the vehicle, and now you know that the compressor can do its job. If the pressures are not changing, then you either have a defective control valve solenoid or a stuck or frozen swash plate pivoting assembly. So that's it. As you can see, the Robinair EVDC100 makes quick work of analyzing the variable displacement compressor, and this is one of the reasons Ford Motor Company recommends that their dealers around the globe possess such a tool. I hope you found this video informative, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.